I know I said this like two recaps ago, but I still have this overwhelming feeling that occurrences taking place outside of the show are far more interesting than what is actually happening on the show. So let's talk about it, y'all. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bonnie Scotch. Thank you so much for clicking on my video today. I wanted to bring you a hot topic as it is related to one of the shows that I cover, which is Married to Medicine. Now, we have a couple of occurrences that have taken place outside of the show. We have an interview that popped up with Mariah Huck. We have an interview that took place between Oliver Twist and Buffy and we also have Contessa going live to address everything that Buffy said. Let me put my glasses on, child. Okay. So the first person I wanted to discuss because she came up first is Mariah with Carlos King in this interview. Now, here's the thing about Mariah. I have conflicting feelings about Mariah because while I can acknowledge what she did for Bravo and Married to Medicine is so groundbreaking and so legendary and frankly iconic, okay, if we really want to get into it, I still did not really rock with her on the actual show, right? So while I can empathize with her feeling as though she was pushed out and that the castmates did the bidding of the producers on this show. Like they use the castmates as pawns to kind of push her out. And the same thing happened with Mariah. While I can't empathize with that, I understand why that happened, right? Mariah said that she was never jealous of Quad. I don't believe that. I do believe that there was a bit of jealousy because it was her show. I think that she projected herself to be the breakout star of the show. Nobody could have expected that Quad would have been it because they were trying to paint her as the country bumpkin, the silly good time girl, whatever, whatever. The other thing about Mariah in this interview with Carlos King is she didn't want to own the fact that she kind of alienated the women with her constantly reminding them that this is my show and you all wouldn't have a platform if it weren't for me. I do feel like that behavior is insufferable and it would wear anybody's nerves out. Again, I do have to give Mariah credit where credit is due. She has a beautiful studio. I think it's called Sleek Studio. It's really beautiful and I'm actually really proud of her. It's inspiring to see the moves that Mariah is making as a black woman. I just have to say that, you know what I mean? Even though she wasn't my favorite on the show, I still feel like Mariah was not only good for Married to Medicine, but she was good TV, period. She was great TV, in fact. And aside from the fact that she was the only one who could get heavenly together, she just had a presence about her that was undeniable. Just because she wasn't my favorite doesn't mean that I think that the way things were handled with Mariah is the right way. Now, she informed us that Simone is the one who came to her and told her, we don't want you here anymore, pretty much putting the nail in the coffin on her getting the boot on the show. And it hurt her more than it hurt with Quad because Simone had delivered her kids. She and Simone were real life friends, right? Whereas with Quad, she and Quad were already kind of beefing at that time. So it, it just was what it was. She said some really nice things about Quad. She said she felt as though Quad should have her own show right now. She's a single woman. She's got a lot going on. She's a socialite, which I understand why on the surface somebody would say that but at the same time I don't feel as though 
Quad would do well with a standalone show. I feel like Quad would actually do well or do better with an ensemble cast. So if you threw her in with the girls of Atlanta Housewives, I feel like she would do really well. So yeah, let me let me just check my notes. What else can I say about Mariah? Besides the fact that her Tyler Perry-esque studio, members only studio was absolutely gorgeous. She bought it. She had her husband buy the block for her. I said, I know that's right. There is something very inspiring about the energy of Mariah and the way in which she moves. She's undeniable. Anybody who has an entrepreneurial spirit can take a page out of her book, right? Can take a chapter out of her book. In fact, we can't deny that she was the first black woman to create a show for Bravo and she will forever go down as an icon, period. She has a part two to this interview coming out with Carlos King. And that's really what I'm looking for because we got a little bit of a snippet of her saying that she felt as though Jackie was the true villain. I said, catch, clock it. Okay, get into it, honey. So I'm very much looking forward to that. If I see anything interesting that stuck out to me in that interview, I'll definitely come and touch in and drop a line and say, you know, how I feel about it. But I also wanted to cover this interview with Buffy and Oliver Twist and the response that Contessa had. So Buffy is kind of going on this tour right now where she is airing out all of her grievances. And she had an interview with Oliver Twist. Shout out to Oliver Twist, who does a lot of work for the girls. I know he does editing for Heavenly. I know that he did it for T.S. Madison. I know he, he works for a lot of the Atlanta girls. So huge shout out to Oliver for having all of these connections and all of this work that he does outside of his own personal show. I know he does Chasing Atlanta as well, which is really cool. So huge shout out to him. Buffy said in so many words that Contessa kind of came at her because she was upset and distraught due to the fact that she had six miscarriages and Contessa said, Contessa basically grabs her by the neck and told her, you know, I'm going to throw you on the floor and rock you like your dead babies. Um, wow. That, that's a heavy, weighty accusation. And Contessa had a rebuttal on her Instagram live. She was crying. She was distraught. She felt as though if I said this, not only would it be a huge reaction to it from the women, but they would have played it nonstop on Bravo. Here, she did not say that. She is a pathological liar and she asked for the lawsuit. So let's give her one. Fortunately, there were about 10 people in that room and all of them, yeah, all of them are going to be called as witnesses in this defamation lawsuit. You don't get to say anything you want, especially when it comes to there was absolutely footage. So challenge accepted. Let's see how rich you really are. And I do agree with Contessa, even though I remember the scene where Contessa was like, you got to buck up, you got to get over it, whatever, whatever. I did feel like it was insensitive of Contessa. There were times when Contessa came off wrong and strong on the show. And I, I enjoyed Contessa, full disclosure. I very much enjoyed Contessa's presence. I thought she was necessary. I found the moves that she was making to be quite inspiring. And I thought that she was a good fit for the show. I'm just curious as to what Buffy's end game is in all this. Like, what are you selling, girl? Are you selling, are you coming out with a book? Are you coming out with some weight loss teas? Um, I'm not sure what's really going on here. I don't know what to really make of this. I do agree with the Contessa again that if she really said this, then it would have been blown out of proportion. Well, not blown out of proportion, but it would have been blown up by Bravo and we would have gotten nonstop clips of this for a Contessa to kind of just be minding her business with her three kids at home and somebody decides to say, you know, this is an occurrence that happened while we were on the show. 
however many years ago. I'm just curious as to why it's coming up now. Yeah, I, I just don't know why this is happening. I'm really curious as to what Heavenly and Carlos King are going to have to say about this. Anyway, get down in the comments with me, you guys. I want to know your thoughts and opinions on this. How do you feel about Buffy? Um, when Buffy was on the show, I didn't too much care for her because I remember feeling as though she's always talking about how, you know, money is quiet and wealth speaks for itself and old money is quiet, blah, blah, blah. But she was always screaming and hollering about how much money she had, right? So that was kind of a turnoff for me. Yeah, I just don't know what to make of this situation with Buffy. When she went after Jackie at the time that Jackie's business was aired about her saying that black women are dramatic and they cry wolf during pregnancy, I was here for it because the comments that Jackie made towards Buffy about her fertility issues were disgusting and when she was confronted about it I don't know why Jackie had so much of an issue just saying hey I'm sorry I was out of line that was out of order of me yeah again the show is really taking place outside of the show drop down in the comments with me you all oh please go ahead and hit that like button for me when you hit the like button not only is it a free way to support my channel but it also lets youtube know that i'm here and that you all are rocking with my commentary and they start to shoot my content out to other viewers just like you an audience who ordinarily would not get an opportunity to connect with my channel so again hit that like button for me and i will see y'all for the next one peace I've been all in my phone, I got options And I don't wanna tell you to trap